Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel that is AirTech. Hope you all are having a fantastic day. Let us begin with our today's video. So our today's video is going to be very interesting because we are going to discuss one of the most asked questions right now. We are going to discuss the question that a lot of freshers and experienced candidates are having. Whether joining PCS, Infosys, Wipro is still worth it in 2024 or I would say in 2025 because soon a new year is starting and that is the reason a lot of people will be graduating in that year people might be switching their jobs and this is going to be very important for them to understand whether it is worth joining these big companies we will discuss and we will provide an extreme honest review about all these three companies which are so called big mnc's in india which are delivering and which are partnering with other companies and providing them services in the it field so without wasting any more time let us move forward but before moving forward, I have a small humble request. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a telegram group that link is in the description box. You can join the telegram group and you can ask your questions for faster replies. Also, you can also share this video with all of your friends who are working in the IT companies or who are planning to join these three companies so that they have a clear understanding about the projects, about the culture, about the work environment, about the projects and the tech stack that they can get in these companies. Okay, so without wasting any more time, let us move forward. Okay, so first we will discuss about TCS. As every one of you might know that TCS is one of the biggest IT company, not only in India, but the entire world. And that is the reason the brand value of TCS and the entire Tata group is very high. Even if you go in any village and you can tell them that I am working at TCS, I am working for Tata group, then they will be able to recall that Tata is a big brand. And if you're working at TCS or Tata Group company, you will get a lot of respect. Okay. This is the first thing about TCS. The second thing is that TCS has a lot of offices in a lot of locations. They have 40 plus offices in different countries, including India. Okay. So they have around 44, if I'm not wrong, offices in different countries. You name the country and they have their offices there. Okay. So if you are planning to go to on-site, then TCS is a good option. But there can be favoritism okay depending on team to team there can be some politics because these kind of things exist even if you try to say that no my team is very good but there can be some kind of existence of favoritism or politics that is happening okay even if you are not facing it other people might be facing it okay so this can be a possibility in tcs okay if you talk about like onset opportunities once you click create a dependency in the project okay if you are someone like suppose your seniors there were two seniors when you joined the company okay who were handling the project or who were handling the tasks okay and then you came in you like created a dependency by yourself okay you are working on a lot of things and you know know a lot of things okay how to resolve a problem how to uh, resolve a conflict or something right and those two people leave the company and then you plan to resign from this current company after having like 1.5 2 years or 3 years of experience right in TCS. So what they can do is they can put you on site also. This is again one possibility. Otherwise if you are planning to stay at TCS for like 7 8 years okay then TCS by, might by themselves uh, create a, like or create an application for you for H1B visa or whichever country that you are working the project is for okay. So this can also be a possibility. But now comes the most important point that is finances right. If you are someone who has to provide for your family, if your parents are getting like uh, basically retired, okay, they are retiring uh, in a couple of years and you have less amount of time to like earn yourself, right? If you're working from a metro city, do not have a strong background or financial background, right? Backing from your parents or your, from any business or from any side income, then it is difficult because TCS generally for Ninja candidates, for digital candidates, the salary is pretty low. For Ninja, it is very low, okay? Ignite again, it is very low. So if you are someone who is joining at these like, uh, like profiles like Ninja, Ignite or any B farm a graduate gets right. So then in that case you have to like work very hard. You have to learn a lot of things right. And sometimes what happens is that you it totally depends on the environment. Okay. If you are staying among friends who are not very active who are not learning at all who are just partying because they are simply getting 25, 30,000 in their, in their hand. Okay. Every month. So they are simply parting, they are not investing it in themselves, they are not investing the money, they are only spending it, okay, only buying expensive clothes, expensive outfits, right, going to the office and showing off everything, then that might be a bad, like, um, influence to you, okay, so that is also needs to be taken care of, the project, the team that you are working along with, that needs to be high, having high, like, energy for learning new things, okay. Even if you are working in a team, right, that is very important that you should be having a learning attitude. 
that is extremely important for you to get higher growth and higher packages in your future also okay so this is about tcs that it can make you a little bit like comfortable okay so tcs job is a little bit comfortable if you are a fresher who is joining at ninja ignite any roles then there can be a very high possibility around 70 to 80 percent of the people are merely working more than six hours a day people are working three four hours a day okay freshers this is true okay this i have experienced this i have seen a lot of people they are on bench they have to just report to the manager hr manager and that's it they are done for the day so that is very essential for you this is the third point that we are discussing comfort zone okay it makes you more comfortable and that is if you go out of the pond tcs is like a big lake very big lake okay tcs is a very big lake but then when you go into the ocean when you want to switch your job when you want to go to a different company for financial growth or for personal growth then it becomes difficult because you don't have uh, like uh, you don't you didn't work hard you didn't like learn a lot in your current job okay this is ex like there can be some exceptions also but if you have not learned a lot of things in your current job at TCS, then it becomes difficult for you to switch to a different company. Okay. And when you go there, you find that you have to work eight hours, 10 hours a day also. Okay. Even if you are getting a high salary, you have to work, you have to provide output. And that is where there is an issue. Okay. There is a gap. So you should form a habit of working. Okay. You should have it, have, like create a habit of working and learning every day. Okay. Six hours, eight hours, 10 hours. You should learn. You should work and do a lot of things right so this is about tcs this is the third point if i talk about fourth point that is uh, like uh, like medical insurance and other things like tcs is good okay compared to other companies tcs uh, does provide a very satisfactory uh, like uh, uh, like plans okay for your medical insurance or term life insurance or even in the case of death and everything like they provide good hefty amount of uh, like uh, financial reimbursement basically okay now if i talk about opportunities right tcs has a lot of projects it can be ai it can be machine learning it can be software development it can be latest technologies it can be old technologies also tcs do support some companies who are using like pearl ruby and a lot of old technologies okay dotnet dotnet is not old but definitely they are having a lot of projects so no matter what skill you have you can definitely get a project provided that you should have that uh, urge to start working okay you should have that urge to start looking for a project and you should be able to show the management or the HR or the project manager that yes, I can learn this and I can work on it. I hope that this fourth point is also clear. Okay. Now talking about fifth point salary, see salary growth can happen. Definitely. Once you come out of TCS, once you switch, okay, you have a tried technical skills, you have tried technical knowledge and then in that case, it is easier for you to get higher packages. I have personally seen people going from like what 4.5 lakhs or 4.6 lakhs, 5 lakhs straight away to 15 lakhs 20 lakhs and 25 lakhs as well yes 200 percent 300 percent 400 percent hike can be attained if you have the right skills if you have the right knowledge and that comes by practicing that comes by actually working on projects in your current team in the current project okay i hope that this point is clear so now we have com completed almost five important points about tcs and i think that should be self-explanatory okay for the time that you're working at tcs things might be very slow Okay, the processes in TCS are very slow. Even if you want to install a software, it takes a lot of time, a couple of days, most probably. Okay, but definitely the exposure that you can get if you like show the urge to do things is very high. Some people can get on site even after two years, three years also. That is a possibility. But then you have to be exceptional. You have to work in such a way that it is like that is impressing the like your client, your project team as well. I hope all the points are clear to you now. Okay. Now, if I talk about Infosys again, Infosys is more or less similar to TCS. Okay. The policies are more or less similar to TCS. Okay. And they also have a lot of offices on site because majorly right now in the IT sector, okay, the on site opportunities have reduced a lot. Okay. Earlier it was more, but right now there are a lot of people that are joined these companies. The headcount is increasing and that is the reason there is a cutthroat competition for on site. Okay, so definitely if you watch the last video that we have published or last short YouTube short that we have published, we talked about the number of H1B's visas that were approved, that were gotten approved by the like US basically. So the number of visas uh, that was approved for Infosys was much higher. Okay, there was an increase in the number of visas that were given for Infosys. Okay, and for TCS it was decreased. Okay, you can go and watch that short that might be in the recent short. Okay, on the EdTech YouTube channel. Okay, now disc, we have already discussed about Infosys. So let me discuss about the starting salary. Okay, if you are joining as a system engineer or if you are joining as a uh, digital specialist engineer or specialist programmer, 
then in that case uh, system engineer is having low salary compared to uh, like uh, digital specialist and specialist programmer okay but if you are getting dsp or sp then it is a good choice okay you can go and opt for this company uh, if i honestly give you a review okay if you are sitting on a bench for a longer period of time at infosys and at wipro okay 3 months 4 months 7 months 10 months okay and you might be put under pip okay this is the case with infosys and wipro with tcs it is not such a case if your background verification fails okay even if you have joined as a fresher and you have worked at any company and you have left that company okay you have uh, like uh, re uh, like uh, resigned from that company or if you have not served the notice period or there is a pf overlap okay in that case tcs might remove you this is the absolute honest reality okay if you are someone who is very experienced and the project project does not require you they are paying you a hefty amount every month but there is no requirement for you okay then there are possibilities that they might like start harassing you okay this has happened with a couple of people that i have interacted with the, no not everyone faces this but there is a possibility that this can happen okay so comparatively tcs is much safer when you look at the like uh, job security and other things right like work life balance with infosys definitely you can get more salaries if you are switching from different company to infosys right this is a case with wipro it is somewhat different okay for if i talk about wipro okay they do not provide hefty salaries okay even if they are providing hefty salaries they might like, terminate or they might fire you if you are not like uh, uh, responsibly working or if you are no longer required okay this has happened with a lot of people lot of freshers actually who were sitting on bench for like 4 months 5 months they were fired they were asked to leave the company they were asked to resign from the company which is a bad thing <coughs> so let us come back to infosys on site opportunities are good okay even if you resign if you are having a dependency and you resign they will ask you that if your project suppose is from us okay they will ask you that we will move you to mexico we will move you to canada because the like work uh, the the amount that they have to pay in us is much higher for indians who are on h1b okay but if you compare it with mexico or canada it is much lower for canada it goes around like 150 dollars per hour per day sorry 150 uh, dollars like canadian dollars okay basically 150 to 200 okay whereas in mexico it is coming low again low 100 to 120 dollars per day so there are a lot of things that needs to be considered okay so even if you put down your papers what they might tell you is that we will provide you on site we will provide you the flight tickets and visa and everything we will do okay uh, you don't have to uh, like take back the like resignation you take the, back the resignation once your visa is approved and you get the flight tickets so this can also happen okay so the infosys also provide a lot of on site opportunities but it depends totally on the team on the project on the area from which the client is everything okay and considering the current geopolitics scenario okay there are some countries uh, which are client of infosys which are not doing it uh, like well okay there is political instability there is some war going on lot of things okay if i talk about salary definitely uh tcs infosys are more or less the same even wipro is the same if you talk about fresher salaries but there are some positions like tcs has digital uh, tcs has uh, like this prime also that is higher side okay uh, in infosys also you have digital digital specialist programmer you have specialist programmer okay these things uh they these positions they provide higher salaries okay but majorly people are working as ninja uh, like project engineer and um, uh, what do you call it system engineer okay in all these three companies so again i'll repeat the same thing for what i did for tcs you need to have a learning approach ever learning approach if you are working on any project and they have given you task your responsibility is not only to complete the task you have to learn why they are doing it why the business wants this particular change why not any an other alternative is possible okay and uh, if you are working on something go in deep in that thing okay so this is my best suggestion that i would like to give you this is the honest like uh, overview or review that i want to give you about these companies because they will not come to you and tell you that hey listen we are doing this because of this reason we are making this change because the business wants this change to happen and this is the reason why they are doing it it is your responsibility because this is not a product based company right they might not uh, keep you in low level or high level design they might directly give you the story and they will tell you that do this but it is your responsibility it is your work to learn about all these things right now let us come back to info uh, like uh, wipro okay so wipro is more or less is having low amount of projects the top management is resigning and that is the reason a lot of experienced candidates are not willing at all to join wipro personally i have seen this that a lot of people are not even scheduling the interview even if they are getting a call from the wipro hr they are straight away rejecting them that i don't want to join wipro thank you for your time so this is the thing is happening with wipro so i'm not saying wipro is a bad company at all for people uh, have gotten a lot of things from wipro 
lot of onset opportunities lot of learning i've seen a friend of mine was working at wipro for more than 5 years okay she then got into jp morgan so you can re re like uh, imagine like the the package that she joined with uh, basically was around uh, like what 3.5 or something she got to till like uh, 5.5 something and then straight, straight away she jumped to 29 lakhs per annum so this is also possible devops and everything like it pays you exceptionally well if you are having a good experience you can really jump 2x 3x also for on your current package this is a possibility so wipro is not a bad company it is just that it is ramping uh, up its uh, like uh, growth okay there uh, were some acquisitions that were made which were not successful okay and that is the reason they are taking down the beatings because of that like revenues and everything are like going down and everything right but definitely they'll come out of it and there will be new projects there will be more hiring that will be done by wipro because tcs infosys wipro and hcl these are the top indian companies who are hiring like lakhs of employees every year okay so this is it about tcs infosys and wipro i hope that i have answered most of your questions even if you have any questions okay do let us know in the comment section we will happily answer all your questions okay because this is very important it is important to take the right decision this will shape your career okay this joining your first company or switching the first job it will shape your career and you will not be able to understand why this is happening what this is happening because it is very important okay i hope that this video was helpful it might have answered a lot of questions if not please ask in the comment section we will happily answer all your questions thank you and have a great day thank you for watching this entire long video